I made some juice with oranges. I got this uh, thing that you, you put the orange here, do it down, it pours juice. I got it for $50, 50 euros, around that price. I put some lime, nice. And the, the juice is very nice, you know. I've been watching a podcast, and I mean interview. It's uh, about your mom, Ashley. This is a YouTuber. <coughs> I recommend uh, you watch that if you like vlogs. The channel is called C Colin and Samir. I can link this video in the description if you want to watch it. Yeah, and I got inspired from the interview, and Ashley is really inspiration for you know just going outside and film. Um, I haven't been outside filming since since the concert that I went to. Uh, I went to a concert last. I don't. 18 July, 17 July. Yeah. I need to clean this off. You have to clean it every time you make juice, you know. So let's clean it, shall we? My camera is gonna smell like oranges. I put it on the cutting board. I have some ants, you know, the ants, the little bugs, yeah. So, what everyone has been up to, I thought to ask some questions instead of just being the entertainer, you know. Uh, it's a Sunday, still Sunday. Woke up at uh, 4 p.m. Yeah, that's basically every day of Khalido. I wanna do, I wanna do, I wanna do a podcast again. Uh, I found a service. It's called Podcorn. It's called Podcorn, Podcorn.com. Uh, you, you, you're doing sponsorships. You're setting prices for your podcast. If you want to do po sponsorships, ads. And, uh, I found this uh, podcaster. He does a podcast about mental mental health. I can link his podcast in the description too. And uh, I sent a proposal to make a partnership. You know, I mean, a, a podcast episode or something. I, I don't know how. My English isn't so good, so I don't know exactly what we will do, you know, depends of what the proposition is, but I'm open of doing a podcast with someone else, you know, I haven't done a podcast since three months because doing it alone is a little bit, um, you know, talking by yourself for an hour, you know. And I think it's it's better to find to find people with common stuff that I want to talk about in the podcast instead of talking to myself. And I know I'm not talking to myself when I do it alone. I show I show my thoughts to other people and they reply in the comments. But I meant 
as a speaker ha have someone else you know maybe another good idea is to have someone with mental health like me uh, come into the podcast and talk you know that's another great idea and uh, maybe I should promote that that's a nice idea you know, uh, free of charge just talk about our lives, lives and uh, our everyday struggle, you know, because this thing, you know, with the schizoaffective, if you follow my channel, it's a challenge, you know, like my mom every day asks me how I am. And sometimes I say being in this town is hard and I think it's mostly in my head, you know, it's not the town I'm in. Oranges. I made a live stream the other day, and uh, someone was asking me about uh, my lo-fi beats. If I used, if I used a sample, and. It's difficult to explain to people using a royalty-free sample, and um, I don't even remember which which sample I used. It's difficult to explain to people that every song you hear nowadays, especially, it's sample. It's it contains a sample, okay? And the viewers telling me that Cymatics, a company that has royalty-free samples, a royalty-free sample means. A sample, a sample that doesn't generate royalties. Now, if ten people use the same sample, it's gonna get cut up because everyone is licensing, is licensing, okay? But if you manipulate the sample, change the pitch, the note, everything, it's harder. So, well, well, my career, I used to use already beats and ma made up samples and uh, stuff, and it was harder because people were complaining that I was flagging targeting the videos the copyright on YouTube you know uh, and it's throughout the years I managed to find a way to adapt it and make it my own you know and no one has complained about the lo-fi beat the, uh, the famous lo-fi beat that I have if you don't know I can link it in the description what I'm talking about and uh, no one has complained about that and uh, it's been a great journey, you know, uh, working with music, having a living out of it. And yeah, and I want to thank that we passed 2,000 subscribers. We're heading to 2,100. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a live stream because... You know, use I it used to not it used to not bother me what other people said in the in, in the internet, but the thing that bothers me isn't what people say, is that I have different thoughts in my head about what I do, everything I do, and then another another post person comes in, tells their opi tells their opinion. And it changes everything because I think this is how people interpret it, interpret it. They, they take it, they understand it is what I did. They, they, they think that I, I did that. Because you, you can get a nice comment, reply to the nice comment, and then you get a ba bad comment. And say, okay, some people like it, some people don't, <laughs> you know. And I've been asked to do Greek videos or put Greek, sub Greek subtitles subtitles on my videos and have a Greek channel I made a Greek song recently and um, I know the majority of people that watch me on YouTube are not Greek you know it's like 20% Americans and I don't know 10% Greeks and then other countries 
many main people watch me because of my distribution videos uh, but I think people some people like it vlogs like these where I share my thought, pa thought pattern patterns everyday life I made a video last year talking about World of Warcraft you know how to do stuff on the game and it got like 34,000 views and uh, if you wanna start YouTube uh, do stuff that people are searching you know I know you have heard of this a long time but when I did that video about the game that expan expansion came out Wrath of Litsky, you know so people were searching about how to do that in the game and I, I did the video because I thought okay they're gonna search about how to do this so but it's difficult to follow a niche, you know, because people that follow me for the Warcraft video don't care about distribution. Maybe they care, maybe they do music, who knows, you know. And the people that follow me about distribution, maybe they don't care about the vlogs. What I'm saying is that I said that to a viewer, says Greek, I said to her, you cannot please everyone, even if you don't do YouTube. You cannot please n nobody. Uh, the best thing you do is mentally and your health mental health and your body health be healthy how, ma how many times are gonna say that and choose the good things in life that make you happy because we have 24 hour hours each day if you sit in, if you sit in your place all the bad stuff that are happening you're missing out on the good things you know I'm not saying to ignore the bad stuff acknowledge them think about them but don't make it part of your whole day okay you can hear a song that makes you happy you can hear a song that makes you sad I'm not saying that I'm saying like uh, a war you know or uh, anything in the news that is uh, the weather the climate change I'm not saying to ignore this stuff but in order for you to be good and I'm talking about myself too I don't follow the news you know I, I live in a little bit a little bubble of mine I do my music I do my videos I talk about my mental health and stuff I don't let stuff that they are beyond my jurisdiction get to me that's what I mean okay 